Hello and welcome to another video by myself, James Lawson Smith. Today, this video is sort of Google related. Um, I was going through my Google Plus stream and I came across a post by a good friend of mine, Moritz, who uh, is a Googler. He works at Google in Dublin and he po made a post about running a security check on your Google account. And I thought it might be kind of interesting to see uh, how this works, what it does, and basically how my account actually stands up. So I haven't actually run this security check as of yet. Um, I will put a link to this post here, and I'll put a link to the to this uh, post that uh, Google Drive had put on their blog. Uh, I won't bother reading through it because, as I said, I'll put a post on there. Um, now, you do have until February 28th to get the free two gigabytes uh, added to your Google Drive storage plan. Oh, no, sorry. Actually, I read that completely wrong. It's actually the 17th of February 2015. So this is currently the 16th of February 2015. So I'm just in time to uh, get an extra two gig, which uh, who can't use an extra two gig of online storage? So when we click the link, it will ask you to sign into your account and re-enter your password. So I will hit sign in as I have autofill uh, on my Chrome account enabled. I uh, don't know if that'll work against me with the security check or not. So here we are. Here's my uh, recovery phone number, recovery email address. Uh, now they do they do ask that it be a different email address to the one that you use to sign in. So it's like a, a secondary uh, email account, which you can create. You know, if you haven't got one, you can create one with like uh, Yahoo, Hotmail, uh, MSN, you know, any other sort of service outside of Google. Uh, so I'm going to hit all done because that's all done for me. Uh, then it says check your recent activity and it gives you a list of uh, the last places and devices that had signed in along with uh, the dates and everything just so you can check. Uh, if all of your sign-ins uh, look okay. So if, if you're living like like I am in Dublin, uh, in Ireland, um, and if you see sign-ins coming from Saudi Arabia and Australia, then, you know, you it could be a sign that somebody else is signing into your account. Um, so if you do see something awry here, you should click on something looks wrong. But uh, to me, all of those look good. I recognize all of those sign-ins. Uh, so I'm going to do looks good. Uh, now we move on to check your account permissions. Now this will be devices apps and software programs that have access to your Google account. Now this can be for various different reasons. Um, it can be just to connect up and get basic account information, um, it, you know, all the way to having full access to your Google account. So it is a good idea to go through these and just make sure exactly what permissions each of these devices or programs have to make sure that you're not giving out, you know, too much information to the wrong people. Now, I'm just going to have a, as I said, this is the first time I've run this, so I'm just going to have a, a quick look through to uh, make sure I recognize all of these. Uh, yeah, some games, some friend me things, Google Drive, uh, some... Google Hangout add-ons. Uh, uh, yes, and this one I don't actually recognize. Looky. Could have been something I installed a long time ago and just forgot all about it. So I'm going to hit remove on that one because I don't actually recognize it and I don't use it. So there's no need for it to be there. So on there, I'm going to hit done. 
And the next one we have is check your app passwords. Now, these are passwords that are generated for the two-step verification, or sorry, for apps that don't use two-step verification, sorry. Uh, two-step verification uh, is a very good thing to uh, have on. Uh, so I'm just going to go through these for the ones that don't have uh two-step verification so i'm gonna revoke this one i'm uh, gonna revoke this one uh that computer is no longer active uh google talk which i actually found out is being uh depreciated uh later on this month i think it's the 23rd of february they're doing away with google talk and focusing more on google plus hangouts uh, there is a post somewhere on one of the Google blogs all about that if you'd like to find more information. If I do find it, I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, I no longer have uh, an iPhone. I am an Android man now. So that all looks okay. I know they haven't been used for a while, but I will leave those active on there. So I will hit done. And check your two-step verification settings so this will make sure that they've got the correct phone number that, that you know you can verify you know any lo attempted logins and stuff uh, i've enabled backup options and things like that so everything on here so far looks correct and dandy so let's hit done um, obviously if you haven't any of these um, enabled and things like that there will be some different options for yourself uh, so nicely done you're all set thanks for helping us uh, look out for your security we'll let you know if we ever see anything fishy and you should feel free to run this checkout again whenever you want um, so everything on my account has a green tick, so I'm going to continue on to account settings. Uh, let's see what this brings up. Um, as I said, so far everything on my account looks okay. Um, I do have an exclamation mark next to one of my phone numbers, so I will investigate that. So I was just reading uh, some of the bits on there. Sorry, I'm uh, getting a uh, sidetracked there. Uh, so yeah, everything on my account appears to be okay. It It is actually a very good idea to run these security checks on your account, you know, just in case, you know, there is some uh, sort of dodgy activity or some programs have access to your account that shouldn't. Um, and two-step verification is something that I suggest that everybody turn on. I mean, it saved me quite a few times. And you do actually get notified when somebody attempts to, ha to uh, gain access to any of your Google accounts um, and they're not authorized to. Um, I'll actually make a, a separate video on two-step verification and the benefits of using two-step verification there are various you know blog posts and articles online that you can read if you if you want to search on google for them but as i said i will make a video about that at some point in the future uh thank you very much for watching this has been james lawson smith if you have any comments or questions please write them down below uh, you can get in touch with me on Facebook, Twitter, and all of those sort of fancy social media type thing, websites. Uh, this has been James Lawson Smith. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.